Good, Good morning. morning, Charlie Pierce. Good morning, Jody Hamilton. <laughs> All right. <laughs> jo- um, <laughs> I was in the room. I just didn't knock. I <laughs> stopped. Oh. Like- very Jerry Falwell. It's very high tech. Yeah. Okay. That's right. I was in the corner watching. <laughs> Ew. Um, Charlie, um, we uh, we have a short I segment. A short segment now. Texas, um, I spent the morning reading the Texas lawsuit. Yes. Yes. It's hilarious. Okay. So <laughs> yes. should, we, we shouldn't be most, worried? Of all the crazy lawsuits that have been brought, this may be the craziest. And only one of only a number of elements to it that are completely insane is the fact that the attorney general who's bringing it is currently under indictment. Oh, mm-hmm. boy. Okay. <laughs> Wait, no, we wondered. Should we be worried about this? It's just, I, I, no, yeah. I mean, okay. no. Okay. I mean, the, 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 John Roberts would have to get kidnapped by Somali pirates to <laughs> see, to hear this thing. I All mean, right. the, the, the evidence of injury that they have to show before they can bring this case yeah. is less than a paragraph long. Yeah. And as I recall, all Obama... All kinds of stuff about the ballots under the table and... Dominion machines and wow, okay. And as I recall, Obama killed the Somali pirate with one bullet, like uh, Osama bin Laden. Mm-hmm. That's not important now. Here's what's important, Charlie. We've been saying uh, all morning, uh, and you know, as James Clyburn said, this really is getting. It's not getting. I mean, it's already crazy, and there's already been violence. But you were talking about, you, you know, that uh, Stephanie. Oh, Miller. sorry, that's not what I meant. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I, I've mislabeled my box. Pardon me. That I'm. Um, it's getting what real. What you label and, it as? Uh, it's getting real in Michigan again. Uh, you say one caller told State Representative Cynthia Johnson, D- Democrat of D- Detroit, who is African American, she should be swinging from a rope. That echoed another call she received, uh, who predicted she sh- she would be lynched. Um, she shared the the uh, voicemails, of course, on her Facebook page. Um, multiple threats to Democrats and Republican office holders. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you say, uh, and by the way, I just have to read this part because of one reference. Uh, this comes after the Michigan Secretary of State was stalked at home. Um, and while a while back, another platoon of armed goons wanted to kidnap Governor Whitmer and hold a trial in someone's upholstered root cellar in Wisconsin. I thought I was the only one that had a root cellar. <laughs> but yes, a trial in a root cellar. That's where my mom kept the potatoes and the onions. And then my brother dug a grave uh, for me and I, I, my mom I fell in. I meant here. No, no, I don't have a root cellar <laughs> no, no, here. Like, like, a root cellar here. Back east. Yeah, yeah, in a root, the root cellar, cellar back in. Now? Where? In, in New York? Uh, yes, New York. We had a root cellar. And, and did you have to clean out the window wells? I had to clean out the window. No, the point is, my brother dug a grave for me, and then it <laughs> rained, and my mother fell into the grave going to get uh, potatoes. It's not important now. Charlie, what's important is <laughs> that this is really, I mean, I'm thinking. God, I, you didn't exactly grow up in Norman Rockwell, did you? No, no. I did not. It's a very I thought dark Norman Rockwell as, as interpreted by Tim Burton. <laughs> <laughs> Evil Tim Burton. Yeah. It's about dead on, Charlie. Um so no, but it's that's what I keep saying. Your brother is, dug a grave for you? Now, well, because he hung me. Speaking right. of lynchings, he hung me from a the banister upstairs. And so he had he planned ahead and made a grave in case it was successful. Why is this? Holy not, God. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> Do, 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 do. No, that was a loving family. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Adams family were a loving family, actually. Yeah, that was a very loving family. <laughs> Charlie, this is really like I get it. No, it's I, crazy when, out when, there. when do they? December fourteenth? Do they go? Oh, yeah. wow! He really didn't overthrow the election, and now I mean, it just it, it is getting increasingly uh, oh, terrifying. I, I spent the morning because we have a malfunction. I have a radio that doesn't like change channels. I'm listening to a local. Mm-hmm. Wing nut talk show here in Boston. Yeah. These people are nuts. I mean, yeah, these yes. people are, I mean, first of all, these are people who quote gateway pundit, like it's, yeah. you know, Walter Lippmann, yeah. mm-hmm. which is always a problem. Yeah. And, but you know, they're talking about, let's have a general strike and let's, you know, let's not be, let's not be wimps anymore. Let's, let's get tough. Like the Democrats do. I don't know what Democrats are talking about. Yeah. yeah. But, and this, and this is going out to however many people, and yeah. I'm sure there's a guy like this in every state. Mm-hmm. And every major media market. Uh, okay. I think Chris Lavoie probably worked for all of them. <laughs> I did in Phoenix. You're absolutely right. Yes, yes, yes. he did. <laughs> I just took one brief glance of his resume. Oh, Wingnut Radio. Fine, you're hired. I worked for the son of G. Gordon Liddy. Oh.